Hello and welcome to episode 4 of 2 Manager Project Extra. We're going to go over the pre-season for Royal Wooten Bassett and Manager 1 and the pre-season for Hales Owen and Manager 2. We'll start with Royal Wooten Bassett. Now in the Southern League Division 1 South, um, predicted to finish around 14th. Um, with chances of winning, 16-1. to 1. Um, Looks like Frome are the evens team here who apparently got relegated last season. So they'll be the one to watch. Um, and Wroxham, apparently, who have, who were promoted, seem to have a good chance too. But uh, like I say, looking to finish mid-table if we can. Um, and then push, obviously, for promotion next season. But you never know, exciting things can happen. So if you take a look at the Bassett transfers, um, in terms of players in this season, and I will pop back to show you what we picked up at the end of last season. We brought in Liam Carr. Now, bearing in mind... He was actually with us last season on loan, if memory serves. Yeah, there we go. And then obviously he signed for free. Um, he only played 14 games, but that was more to do with when I loaned him. I loaned him to strengthen up the midfield after we had all that trouble. But yeah, he played 14 games, 3 goals, 7.16 average rating. So he was a good choice. Jamie Farrell, also we had him on loan. And again, we're able to sign him. Again, did quite well for us. 19 appearances, 3 goals, 2 assists, 2 player in a match, 7.1 average rating. So that's strength and depth for the midfield. Um, we've also signed Nasu Kabani, central defender, 6 foot 4, decent star rating, um, and uh, some fairly decent abilities. Let's have a look at his history. Yeah, came over from Leicester Nirvana. Oh, no, he didn't. He came over from... Oh, I see. He was released by Macclesfield. That confused me for a minute there because he was obviously at uh, Leicester Nirvana there. He did about average at Leicester Nirvana. Where are they? Isthmian South East Division. Well, I suppose it's comparable. But never ne nevertheless, I uh, he's done pretty solidly in uh, pre-season five games or five appearances. One goal, average rate right in a seven. That's not bad. Um, Lewis Todd, signed from Eli, goalkeeper. We've got we we needed a replacement for Curtis Meir. I want to keep Curtis Meir as a backup, but uh, I did actually tweet about a different guy who, in fact, is at Hale's own because the the plan was to loan him for the season, but uh, he didn't want to come, so uh, that didn't work out. But fortunately, we managed to sign uh, Mr. Todd here. Um, played. He's only had one appearance, and he's conceded one. Oh well. 6.9 rating though so uh, who was that against I wonder. Nevertheless he's a bit more solid than uh, Mir as you can see the 3 star rating and his skills are slightly better. But I intend to keep Curtis as the backup as much as anything else. I mean you know he's played in terms of his average rating quite well in preseason so but he has let a few goals in, so. But yeah, hopefully that's a, a little bit extra strength for us as well. Going to pop, oh yeah, we let go, well, I say a little bit ago, Charlie Daniel, who finally left, went to Enrith Town. He hadn't played very often for us. Um, he was kind of surplus to requirements, and he just never left. I didn't bother ditching him. He was non-contract, but he finally went, so if you wish him well for Enrith Town, and uh, if we now pop back to last season, Dan Collins, he's a central defender with some fairly decent potential and current ability and d decent physicals. But unfortunately, his actual skills are a wee bit lacking, but uh, he's enjoyed himself and uh, done quite well in pre-season. So the point was to add depth. Um this guy, you remember, I tweeted about this already. Nathan Corkery, back in a Wooten Bassett shirt. He had um, uh, spent time in the United Counties Premier there with Odeby. Got 10 goals in 19 games, a three-player at a match, 6.89. But he came back to us. Um, he was seemingly surplus to requirements there, but I think, you know, 10 goals in 19 games, not bad. So 
he's certainly going to be one of our first choice strikers moving forward, which is great. Lewis Millington, I did introduce him. He's back at Reading City now. He with with us for six games. Yeah, three goals. He did well, but to be honest with you, in terms of let's go back, in terms of his everything, I didn't feel like he would be suitable to make the step up. I guess plus, I mean, well, in terms of uh, we'll get onto it later, but in terms of uh, preseason friendlies, we stuffed Reading something rotten so that wouldn't have helped his cause I don't think Adam Williams from Loxwood a st striker you know about him from last season he's had a good preseason three goals and five appearances he actually oh sorry I I apologize that's that was what he did for us three goals and five appearances so I have kept him on extended his contract and that's it really um, in terms of people leaving, well, you know about Matthew Harris, Burton, Corkery. Scott Moss, on the other hand, I don't remember him leaving. But then I don't really remember him playing all that much. Yeah. He got one game for us, so there you go. That's why I don't remember him. Sorry, Scott. A very quick look at the finances here in terms of where the budget is. We've got about 1700 quid a week to spend, and we're spending uh, 1200 Twelve and a half hundred. So there is room to spend, but honestly, there are a couple of problem areas in the squad which I am looking out for the right player for. Um, but I'm not going to be signing for depth, I guess, at the moment. I'm looking for some fairly specific players. I do want to see how the team, as it stands, performs. I do think that uh, if there are any weaknesses, it's going to show up. I may have to play a little bit with the tactics, but uh, these are all things that come up. But yeah, in terms of finances... I'd really, really like to stay under that budget this season if I can, even if I go over it next season. If I can stay within it this season and stay up, that's very positive for manager one. So if we take a look now at Bassett's team report, in terms of uh, depth, we do have an issue with right back and we still have an issue with uh, right and left midfield. Um, there are you know, some youth prospects that potentially could play in there, but we do need a little bit more depth than that. As I say, I'm happy with Dent depth in centre defence we don't have the money for a big squad um, could do with some more up front to be fair but uh, we'll see nevertheless there is still a little bit of work to be done but like I say I want to sign a replacement for Alex Purehouse and have him as a backup I know he's our uh, 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 vice captain I nearly didn't choose him but I, I kept things as well because he will play a lot and he you know he does do a reasonable job, but as you can see, the step up has uh, hurt him, hurt his star rating at least. Um, but we'll see, obviously, how he actually performs, because uh, he's been pretty good for us. Certainly above average in his first season. I mean, he didn't miss a game last season. Thirty-eight games. Um, well, he obviously missed one because there was an FA Cup game in there somewhere. But uh, yeah, only four assists. Bearing in mind he's a wing back on support. Again, looking to strengthen that area. I still like the wing play. So I'm going to press on with that, shall we say. So again, it's it's important to find the right player and have Purse House as a backup. Um, I could potentially do the same with the left back as well. But Smalley's a good sort. And he's been playing well despite rarely being played in his favourite position. So, until something better comes along. Yeah, if I remove his name from there and his name from there, that looks a bit better for me. Remy not now, of course, our captain. But yeah, right back's a bit of an issue. So is central midfield. That being said, we do have Farrell and Carr, who I actually removed. There we go. I can remove Hickman because he's on the left there. So yeah, again, more de depth in midfield, which is great. Got Corkery. Tom Fisher is still with us. <sighs> he is a backup. He can score goals. Well, look, look at his preseason. 
two full appearances and three sub appearances or sorry two starts at least two goals two assists and that's quite the average rating so well I'd be a fool not to at least give him a chance as I say he didn't when I picked him up from Ardley I didn't play him enough necessarily um anyway Could maybe do with one more to cover up front. Although we do have, of course, Hetsky in the background. So yeah, we've got a lot of youth depth. Loads of people on the the, the left side there going to help out. Yeah, in terms of three stars though, that's uh, that's not something we have a lot of. Okay, so if we finish up here. Give you a look at how we did in pre-season. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we stuffed Reading City. I did tweet that. Um, that was quite a nice, nice game. We did lose against Swindon, but I feel like 2-1 um, at home to Swindon is actually not, not a bad showing of ourselves, really. I mean, Swindon, I believe, got promoted last season. Yeah, there we go. They're in League 1 now. Prom promoted out of League 2. Um... And yeah, they scored in the first minute, which is interesting. But uh, Corkery equalised. Hope that's the shape of things to come for Corkery. Um, other than that, it's been pretty f straightforward. Swindon Super, Super Marine was a two-all draw. Looks like it was probably a scrappy game, to be fair, judging by all those yellow cards. I'll be honest with you, I didn't play that one. I let the uh, assistant manager take care of it. First match upcoming is AFC Porchester. That will be featured on the first episode of... Two manager project season three so as we head over to manager two at hales owen hales owen predictions for english southern league premier central shows them a second um with evens odds i don't know if that's evens odds to finish second or evens odds to win but that's pretty serious if the media think that i think there's a very strong chance that uh, i can or should i say manager two can push for a uh, top spot and maybe promotion um we'll have to see early in the season in terms of competition, obviously Salisbury are up there. Um, Stourbridge, St. Neots, Banbury are in there, but uh, they had a drop-off last season. I don't know if that's because we took uh, Jack Finch, quite possibly. In terms of players from Hales Owen are actually listed in the Dream 11. Hooper's in there. So uh, let's have a quick look at Hooper. So yeah, he's still with us, despite many people, many, many people coming for him. So if we take a look now at the Hales Owing signings, we'll start with Callum Beckett. You'll remember he played with us for the entirety of last season. I don't even think he missed a game. There you go, look. 42 appearances, probably out of 44, given there was a couple of FA Cup games in there. Um, very popular with the fans, apparently. Yeah, they really liked the player. And uh, he became available. They didn't renew his contract, so I snapped him up. Shows him as a fullback. We played him centre-half. Like I say, he he had a good season. Well, sorry, that wasn't his season. There we go. Let's go back to his season here. Yeah, I feel like he had a good season. He was just shy of his 7.0. That's seven goals, two assists, four player of the match. You can't, you know, for a centre-half, that's not bad. I'm sure that was off free kicks and whatnot. We also got, recently, Anthony Straker. Now, Straker is more to add a bit of depth to uh, left back but also to bring in a proper wing back rather than playing full backs as wing backs I'm trying to do that with both teams it just struck me as it should be a bit easier to do it at this level with Hales Owen one thing uh, also that attracted me to him is of course he's an experienced player he's got some decent skills in there so I'm very keen to see how he gets on Tom Eaton left us Tom Eaton was one of our there you go. You can see how bad he is. He was just a youth player. The, all of the youth players here are pretty terrible. But if we pop back and just have a quick look at the end of last season, we also signed George, uh, Georgie, or Jorge, possibly, Alfieri. Well, he's Irish, so I'm going to go. It's George Alfieri. And uh, he's a bit of a star. Unfortunately, looks like he's had a bit of a decline over the holidays. Hopefully, we can pick him back up again. But uh, he's a new right back for us. And, uh, yeah. Bear in mind, Beckett is centre-half. He's better than Middleton. So it gives us just a, a little bit of depth there, which is fantastic. Louis Harbin. 
He's a centre half again. Biggest problem was the uh, lack of depth in the the, the back. But uh, part of the reason for Sodom, he's only a young player. Fan, you know, decent physicals, um, decent tackling, um, decent teamwork. He's only had one appearance in preseason, but uh, well, he was from Doncaster's youth setup, so I don't know. I fancy his chances. He's only two star at the moment, but like I say, I fancy his chances. He's got some good ability, so we see how he does. At the end of the day, he's there for depth. Um, if we have a look, yeah, that's much much better. Bear in mind that Antonio was a, a starter last season. Obviously, we've brought in Beckett. Is Ross Marshall new? I can never remember. Here we go. Ross Marshall, of course he is. I thought he was. There you go, the other central defender. He we brought in, um, and I think he couldn't play, funnily enough, because he'd already signed for two other clubs. But, yeah, he was exciting. Very keen to see how he does this season. Like I say, I feel like we've got a nice, strong uh, center, central defense now. Jack Sargent, as I also mentioned little bit older, trying not to sign too, too many kids. As I mentioned before, we've got a lack of leadership in the team. So his 16 leadership, Mr. Sargent here, was a, was a good thing to bring in. He's also a cover central defender. He's got good acceleration, don't get me wrong, which is great, but his pace is slightly lacking. So whether I play him as cover or as a stopper, to be honest with you, we'll see. Um, that being said, usually the stopper, I tend to like to have good jumping reach and heading, which he doesn't so. Well, Mr. Sergeant, looks like you are a cover defender. We also have Ben Middleton, who's a right back. Again, we needed depth at right back, and that was why he was signed. Um, I don't think he got to play for us. No, he didn't. Just signed him for free from Stourbridge. And obviously, Jack Finch, you know about. Uh, in terms of players out, there's been a, a few that moved on. Nobody of any real... Uh, consequence Josh Barnes who made a few appearances last season you may have seen him has gone on loan um, to FC Romania funnily enough so uh, we'll see how he gets on it looks like he's had a couple of improvements there but uh, he is turning into a potentially a half decent player if we take a look at the finances now this is where things do not look quite as rosy we are spending well a grand over the wage budget and we are strapped for cash um, I haven't gone through and, and felled the axe too much, but I have been trying to get rid of as much of the uh, worthless youth team as I possibly could, if not on loan, um, certainly as transfers. And the same with whomever might be stuck in the under-23s and not a lot of good. Uh, there is some clearing to be done potentially, but realistically speaking, my real try or the only way I think I will be successful this season certainly in terms of the finances is to get promoted that simple you know um, we will get a bigger budget more money better sponsorship blah 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 so it'll be fine however if I don't go up that could cripple us um, so and that could also mean manager two's job so we'll see how that goes but yeah not a lot of money in the bank at the moment if we take a look at Hales Owens team report now uh, in terms of squad depth Still got a goalkeeper issue. Um, our current number one goalkeeper, Mr. Folks, is uh, he's he did well. He had a good season. He's had a good preseason. He's only 19 years old. It's a lot on his shoulders. I've been trying like mad to find a decent replacement for him, and it has just not happened, unfortunately. So uh, we got some youth goalkeepers in there, one of which I was hoping to loan to Royal Wooten Bassett, and uh, that all fell through. So, unfortunately, as a youth player, he, he ended up having... Well, not a youth player, but a, a younger player. Ended up being on a full-time contract because I tried to do that. It all went wrong. But, yeah, great lot of depth now at centre-back. Good depth at uh, um, attacking, you know, left and right wingers. Not Not great depth up front. And, uh, yeah, not great depth in central midfield either. So there are a few more, there are a few more sort of uh, targets that we need. We don't really play, well, we do play Jackie Finch, who uh, rarely gets injured, but we do need more than just one backup or one understudy for him. 
In terms of quality, I haven't been able to necessarily find the stars I was looking for. I mean, well, Jason Law, as I say, he was coming good. He's he's certainly made an effort in preseason. But yeah, we don't have anybody, for example, if I just limit it to three stars. Look at that. Too many holes. Jackie Finch is fantastic. Cooper's fantastic. Robertson Demke are good. But uh, yeah, we do lack a certain amount in terms of star power. Like I say, that back four is almost strong enough now if I take away Jack Marshall. But I would love to have a star goalkeeper. So yeah, there's still people we're going to keep an eye out for but the real problem is now not having the money to do it and so not being able to obviously sign those bigger players if we actually take a look with the one star look at all that depth that might be a case of uh, getting rid of people for example I mean the thing is he's got such good promise but I can't list him for loan because he doesn't have an actual contract so what do you do? Release him on a free? Play him? Maybe. Maybe I need to play him. Maybe that's the point. I should be playing some of these players and see how they get on. Anyway, if you enjoyed that, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more Football Manager videos. Thank you very much for watching.